What's, What's up, up Wubbies? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be answering assumptions about our relationship. So I told you guys on Instagram to send me assumptions about our relationship and we're going to be saying if they're true or not. We got a lot of assumptions, Wobby. Well, I'm excited. A lot of good ones, babe. <laughs> we got some good and some bad. Okay, so first assumption is I literally got so many of these. Wobby, we got so many assumptions. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and I don't care if they're bad or good, like... Yeah, I'm there, happy that we some got are some. bad and some are good. Right here I have two que son like casi iguales. Y dijeron, eres super mandona. Okay. And then it says, you're the dominant one. Another person said, you're the dominant one. All right. So, so you're meaning you or me? Me, oh, meaning okay. me. So both they of them think I'm mandona. The... So do you think I'm mandona? My reaction to that is, uh, I feel like we're balanced yeah i lie. think so too i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys and say i'm the dominant one yeah and you see that's, that's how you guys know that I, i'm not either that's false because they comment in our videos a lot like oh erica seems mandona or things like that i've seen them but i'm not i was telling adan i feel like it's my eyes since i have really big <laughs> eyes they're like Always popping out and shit like a bull. Yes! Oh my gosh! Like, hey, 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 hey. like that type of shit? Oh yeah! Yes, Bobby! Yes, yes! Like that, like that. But like, I can't help it. Like, I'm gonna start squinting no, my no, eyes. No, no, like, it's, it's not that. I think I will look nicer. It's not that you can't nicer. help it. That's just how you have your eyes, Bobby. Like, your eyes are bomb as fuck. They're naturally big. You're not forcing Aww, them to be thank open. You, babe no 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 like like no bullshit bro we can't we can't let these people you know say whatever they're gonna say and have us accept that shit because yeah fuck fuck that you think like that oh well so there's the answer i am not the dominant one neither is adan yeah we're like on the same page on that shit so. yeah all right you want to pick up i feel like i feel like if you were to be i feel like if you were to be the dominant one mm-hmm um i feel like i would be a, per a type of person where i wouldn't be talking i feel like i'll be quiet mm -hmm. uh <laughs> it's a dirty one could i could i say it it's, a, it's an assumption mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you sound like a uh um that catholic lady like i know eso's malo <laughs> Wobby. And she knows she knows a shit ton of No her dude, mind. but that Catholic lady que estaba like haciendo ambiente, like bien ambientada, like in Mazatlán or no sé en donde. Did you see? <laughs> no. Se estaba echando hasta canciones yeah. de Gloria Trevi. Dude, she was going yeah. all out. But okay, go, say it. Okay, so this assumption says Alan is shy in bed. What's your reaction to that, babe? No, why do they think that you're like... I feel like mm. people think that I'm the bossy bitch. And, and you're, you're like... like you're I'm, like, okay. I'm the santito. Yeah. Like, bruh. Ni nos conocen. <laughs> well, people that don't know us. Because I know a lot of you guys do know us. But yeah. No. Adan is not shy in bed. Like, yeah. Like, I can't... I can't, like... Like, my reaction to it... Like, I can't react at, and, and say... Like, no, yeah, I'm, I'm a freak. Exactly, yeah. That's, <laughs> you know, I can't I can't do yeah. that. So literally, like, only you know of me. No, yeah. But, um... No, Adan isn't shy. All I can say is, like, dude, I'm not scared of shit, dude. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I might seem innocent in ah. camera. <laughs> but, like, dude, I, I got man thongs, like, for Erica. Yeah, he has an elephant one. <laughs> you so normal. <laughs> look, Wubby, another one. Look, lo mandas. Damn, like, dude. dude, they really think that, babe? No manches. Another one, Wubby, look. Tu mandas. Adan is scared of you, like. Damn. Yeah, Wubby. Oh, my God. It makes that, me sad that people think yeah, this. That's, that's making me, like, question, like, okay, I need to show more dominance in this bitch. <laughs> A.K.A. social media. On social media. It's because you know why, too, babe? You know why people think that? Why? Because I don't cuss at you, shit like that. 
Yeah, huh? When, when have I, I feel... cussed at you, especially in front of the camera? It's Even true. off cameras, bro. I don't it's cuss true. at Erica at all. I don't call her no bad words. Like, mm -hmm. and, and what I mean is that female dog word. Uh, oh the, my god, the Wubi, look. Because I know couples, they call each other all kinds of shit. How huh, Wubi? Yes, it's so normalized now, and yeah. that's all so toxic. And, like, and hasta just, cuando juegan, they're like, you yeah. bitch. Oh, no, but I can't. But when they're arguing, like, uh-uh. I mean, people could call it, oh, you guys are boring, whatever. But honestly, I can't I can't be like that with Erica. No, like, and I like can't we, be like we, that we with We cuss at each other um, about a topic, though, like, not to each other. You get me? Like, it's it's not something that I think, like, oh, no, I'm not going to call it this. No, it's just it's just natural, something natural. I don't... I don't do that either of you felt temptation i guess they mean like temptation to cheat like when we go out like checking out other people and stuff like that honestly I think, no i think what it refers to temptation when when you're like close to doing something like, oh, oh shit, I'm okay, okay because say for example oh i'm tempted to like eat a chocolate bar <laughs> And, and <laughs> you know, knowing I'm on a diet, like, I'm fucking tempted to it. Like, I could do it right now, you know? Yeah. I feel like if we were to feel temptation, like, we would have already Ooh. done something. Because the yes. events we go to, like, with all respect, it's, like, the most good-looking people. Like, we're around influencers, Dude. celebrities, actors, actresses. Like, when we go to events and like thank god like we stay loyal to each other ah, and honestly a lot of people like some putitos dude i agree with that so much like if if that was the case something would have happened since the longest dude like i'm talking about the first yeah we got together and that is one of the reasons why i trust adan so much because dude by now he would have left me like por otra vieja mas buenota and shit like <laughs> He's always like coming Bruh. to events with me and stuff and like I never see you being like thirsty or anything like that. So I love that about you. Next assumption says that your wubby, I assume that your wubby is very jealous because I mean, why wouldn't he be? Right. Why wouldn't I be like there's all these kinds of dudes DMing her uh, in person, checking her out. Oh, my God. Wubby, really? In person? Oh, Wubby, Wubby. I never catch it. Because you don't care. Yeah, I really don't. Okay, I'm be I'm not going to even lie. When I first got with her, I was with my guard up, Loki. I was a little jealous. But I wasn't jealous to the fullest because I had already had, like, I had my mind ready already. Like, I knew what I was going to get myself into. Wubby, I feel like I you've never been Erica. jealous. No, hell yeah, I've been. Wubby, I just... Uh, I would like convince myself like to like okay dude don't go too far with this feeling you know she's with you mm -hmm. and you're only you know handling business you know what I mean so so like that's why I wouldn't I you know I wouldn't really or don't really show jealousy or whatever mm -hmm. because I'm confident in my position but when I got with Erica though like I was actually a little a little more jealous though because I had just got with her um definitely was a little scared it, you know guys are gonna fucking talk to her and and loki win her funny story dude there was there was an artist that i noticed at the time i wasn't with erica yet i think i mentioned this in prior videos mm -hmm. there was an artist that actually was like singing to her like they were hanging out i noticed because i saw your stories mm -hmm. or your post you posted you posted an, an ig yeah that got me so jealous, dude. Really, I like, Wubby? I was, shut up, Wubby. <laughs> um, and I was like, I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. And it was before I asked you out. And l days later, like, that's no when, wonder that's you when asked I out asked you out. Chinga. Fuck, I had to. Oh, so you thought, like, <laughs> me la van a bajar? Me la, me la está bajando, dije. Oh, my me God. Me la va a bajar, Wubi. dije. So este sorry. loco, dije. So I was like, hell no like i'm gonna I'm a get you what really i want thought i was gonna get in a in a relationship with that person oh like, because with be an artist because the odds of that are so low like bruh <laughs> i mean i didn't know right mm -hmm. that's that's the worst thing i could think of at the time so yes mm -hmm. i would think you would get someone and especially because you were single you were you were fucking having fun but uh, yeah at that time i really liked you so i was like oh hell no but now adan is proud of that <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm actually am. I'm not, dude. Eric ain't even lying. I'm actually <laughs> proud that that happened because the artist. Maybe you guys don't know, but the, that artist was Ariel Camacho, and um, you know, with he's, all he's respect. A, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Way. He's a legend, you know now, and unfortunately he left so early, right? Um, and his music like was fire. Bruh, That's why you got bruh. more jealous, cause Adan, oh you know how God, he sings too, real. and he plays guitar. Honestly, he inspired me. That That's why I started playing guitar. And but you know, shit. you know what's crazy that you guys have the same last name and they have tias in common. We, so we have fam families, Son primos. families that live close to each other. Like his family, my family lives so close to each other. I'm not gonna lie, we're not related, but like we're so. Our families are so close to each other. It's like, bruh, like, we kind of should do some research <laughs> to Low see, key, like, you know, huh? how, how close is that family you to know, mine? You know what's weird, too? That after he passed away, his girlfriend followed you. Oh, she did? I didn't know that. Yeah. Low key. What do you mean? Yeah, you had told me. A lo mejor se te olvidó. Oh, yeah, I guess. That, dude, that was like but in 2015. But I got jealous. That's why I remember. Damn. I that was, was like, why is she following my man? Like, is it because they have the same last name? No, for facts, though, facts, that esa familia de Camacho is another Camacho family. Like, it's not the same Camacho family oh, as mine. Okay. So, that's that's facts for sure. And Adan, so he, we're not he's, like, he's close, like, esa es mi vieja, how of it? <laughs> I was almost crying and looking at my phone. I was like, you were crying, no, screaming, no, no, no. and throwing up. <laughs> I'm like, no, maldito sea. <laughs> What were you were crying, screaming, and throwing up? <laughs> no, I ain't gonna fucking throw up. <laughs> it's the same. I'm not a throw upper. Oh, okay, okay, it's the same, but I'm sorry. I just don't. I don't throw up. Que Adán es el que siempre se disculpa por todo. Laughing emoji. Mm. I don't think so. I used to be like yeah, that. Yeah, in the beginning, yeah. Now, people that know Adán in real life, they think that he's a dick. Porque ya por fin se defendió. <laughs> Y ya no se deja y ahora es el más culero de todos. No, it's because it's because I learned, dude, with life experiences. You learn with life experiences. Yeah. You know that goes out for everyone. You learn, dude, as you're growing, especially when you hit adult life. Oh, dude. Fuck yeah. You dude. learn right away. Mm -hmm. Actually, not right away. Sometimes you learn right away. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it took me time to learn, and uh, like now I I say sorry, dude, when I really think like okay it's my fault i'm gonna say sorry yeah actually i'm pretty good at saying sorry i, I feel in my opinion you think i am yeah when you say oh, you sorry think, you, think you I say slack it on that shit no i think Girl. you're good yeah you're you're like like when you do something that's actually kind of mean like maybe you raise your voice a little bit because we're like in a stressful situation you tell me sorry after and i really appreciate that Dude, sometimes we raise our voices at each other sometimes. Mm -hmm. And literally, like, after we, after we like, finish <laughs> talking, whatever it is, like, because we're annoyed yeah. for whatever reason, we're like, oh, babe, look at this. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I'm like, our, Wubby, did you see the TikTok? Our I tone of voice and our anger or, or our annoyingness or whatever, it mm -hmm. goes away, dude. I've, yeah. I've noticed that several times. Dude, but I just can't stay mad at you. Same, dude. Like, honestly... It's not worth it. It's not worth staying mad mm -hmm. at whatever reason it is. Most of the time, it's like it's a dumb reason. And I and I like that you do that with me. Me sigues en rollo, like after we're annoyed or whatever. Yeah, I'm like, not we gonna kinda, be con pinches bobadas. Like, no, I'm still mad at yeah, you. Yeah, after we like have an attitude with each other, like we we start to laugh like at whatever <laughs> it is, like yeah, like all oh, of you remember this and then this. Yeah, or we just like start talking about something that happened to us. I've always think you guys are on and off. Hmm. Like breaking up, getting back together type mm -hmm. of thing. And the answer is... I wonder why. Maybe because we don't post a lot like on like, Instagram, like the couple pictures. Oh, We need to start yeah. and you guys need to hype us up. Because like sometimes we be posting couple pictures and like no nos pelan. Like you guys need to hype us up like... I feel like we don't we don't really believe in like oh we need a break like hey let's take a break because mm -hmm. of this and that and throughout these years dude um we never like took a break yeah or like, like we don't yeah uh, I got that's, that's nonsense I feel I got other assumptions saying oh you guys have broken up like uh, a couple of times and thank God like oh, we well, actually there you haven't go. no 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 yeah no. like we haven't and we've been together for seven years with no breaks or 
breakups. Yeah. Has there been a close time where we were we like, damn, we almost broke up? You think? I think just when we would like fight a lot, like when we just got together. So but got it was to- like we were so young, like petty arguments. So when we got together, there was a lot of jealousy involved. Because... Mm. Erica would be super jealous. It sounds like a novella would be. Like, there was a lot of jealousy, yeah. tears. And I wouldn't blame her. I don't blame her. Because at the time, um, like, I was doing the solo artist thing. So. Oh, that is so some tea. I guess someday we'll talk about it. Yeah. Actually, very soon. I'm not going to even lie, dude. We're going to talk about it soon. So guys, I'm glad you're you ready to in. talk about it, Wobby. Yeah, cause... I'm going to fucking talk about it. But um, but yeah, as a musico, like, you know, we're playing at parties. There's girls. So And Erica girls are really voladas with musicos, dude. Erica couldn't help it. But to imagine, like, dude, you're you're probably fucking around with girls. Dude. You're, like, smiling at them uh, <laughs> when you're playing the guitar. Yeah, you're, honestly. You're looking at them dancing. <laughs> so it's because I'm it a girl like and that, I've seen dude. it. I've seen yeah. it with, like, friends that I had. I don't blame her. And then also, like, I'm not jealous at all anymore. But I still do think that girls, not all of them, but some girls... Se vuelan con los músicos. Like, the músicos get there. Luego, luego, like, les echan el ojo. Like, oh, let's dance in front of them. Like, sacar la nalga in front of them a little bit. Like, dude, I'm not dumb. I'm, like, I I had friends. I knew people that would do that. Like, oh, my God, I saw the accordion looking at you. Like, a volada. That's crazy, shit. dude. Y uno, uno del otro lado, like, I don't, I don't really think about that shit, like, and I don't think like, oh, I wonder if they're talking about me or oh, I, wonder I think if that's they just you, Wobby. Like, I don't ever think shit like that. And it's I crazy think to that's hear like from your side that you've heard and seen shit. But I and think it's true, dude. I think that's just you, Wobby. Like, it's like one in a million to find a musico that's loyal because we've heard no, of a lot of stories of musicos that cheat. I, true, true, true. Most of them, most of them uh, that si I know. Y si están de volados con las viejas bailando. No también. me estás mirando because it looks like you're like, andale, andale, <laughs> You're like, you no. know. You see how my eyes pop out? Yeah, the majority of the dudes I knew, yeah, they're fucking big ass cheaters. Yeah. They had wives and kids, motherfuckers. Like, honestly, I would just laugh at them. Like, bro, you stupid. Yeah, and a lot of girls always tell me, like, las novias de los otros músicos. Like, I'm always cool with them. And most of them, like, they have told me, oh, I want my boyfriend to be like Adan. Like, I want him to be respectful and not fucking the ojo alegre, just looking at girls and <laughs> all the gigs. And that's um, tough. I don't know how you guys deal with that. Dude, and uh, I'm trying to remember, like, like how many people I know, like, musicos that, that they're actually loyal. And I can't, I can't it's, remember, dude. Yeah, it's dude. very, very few. And there's some that were loyal, but, like, they end up switching up. Like, there was this guy that was, like, super in love with his girlfriend. And then he met, like, other musicos and, like, se metió a todo ese, like, ambiente. Yeah. And he got brainwashed. Like, yeah, it's because some musicos get shit. peer pressure, dude. Yeah. Because... Because other musicians, they're they're players. Those players tend to pressure the loyal ones. Like, yeah. Hey, go, go, go. Or, and Adan. Oh, come on, stop being a pussy. Uh, and and Adan. Oh, I've been I've been always around that shit, but I'm always yeah, running my he business. Yeah, he doesn't he like, doesn't get peer pressure. Like I le vale madre. Like I'm just like y'all do y'all do whatever you. And honestly, want, so I, ain't, I ain't doing yeah, shit. Yeah, like I love that about you. That's big dick energy. Yeah, like dudes pressuring you always. Yeah, ti te vale madre. And it's funny because you've heard rumors that they say stuff about it's you. It's funny because it. um, I had several musicians tell me because mm-hmm. like they end up like in deep shit, like with their you know with their cut with their partner mm-hmm. or whatever the situation is. Yeah. And they've always confessed in the end, like, dude, man, like, oh, uh, when I was in this situation, I was just remembering you, like, man, cuanto más a gusto estar en, en la casa, like, like with your like, wife, chilling, not uh-huh. not worrying about you know trying to do dumb shit behind people's back Mm -hmm. they told me that several times and i'm just like and they they and they've told you too that like they've said that you're a mandilon and stuff me hace cosquillas nomás cuando oigo esas cosas like i don't i don't Mm -hmm. care you know yeah like they're the lame ones for always trying to fit in like i literally do not care i could tell you don't care as clear as that is all right let me find another assumption to to move on okay this assumption says y'all had a lot of ups and downs but always kept it private for the sake of your relationship this assumption is i guess it's true 
Mm-hmm. Not a lot though. So that yeah. that part is not like true. we're not toxic either. Yeah, dude. And you guys can say whatever you guys want to say if, if those of you think like, oh no, they're trying to be the perfect couple. That's not true. Every relationship there's gotta be a lot of ups and downs because a, a relationship mm-hmm. without a lot of ups and downs is not a relationship, dude. That's bullshit, dude. Don't fucking those of you that hear that shit don't accept that shit. Yeah, if there's more downs than ups, okay, you gotta then, go. Then that could ha- help you like think like mm-hmm. okay okay something's off here yeah but if there's some ups and downs that's that's normal that's i normal. say that's normal yeah Pero yeah because every relationship like nobody's perfect you know every relationship has ups and downs but a lot of ups and downs like i'm talking about every week every two fucking days there's, oh, yeah. there's something going on yeah. like argument or whatever maybe petty but still if there's like a lot of them going on mm-hmm. throughout the week that's a fucking red flag yeah you need to check that out yeah and um i like the part where it says for the sake of your relationship the ups and downs private um yes. that also uh-huh. we believe in that we feel like sharing our ups and downs or our arguments mm-hmm. sharing them with family we don't fucking like that shit we no. we don't do that yeah because like, like not even to our really close uh, family like yeah because it's dad. nobody's business and para que vas a involucrar a otras personas en tus pedos like you're just gonna, you're gonna be stressing yeah and they're gonna be stressing for you yeah. they're gonna be worried for you and then say y agarran odio a la persona. yeah they mm-hmm. start to think like oh well they're 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 being pretty mean yeah mean to mm-hmm. you because they're always gonna be on the side of the person who's explaining their side, right? Yeah, or on the on the side of the person that's family. So so it's all gonna, gonna cause it's gonna cause confusion. It's just gonna cause people to like not like that person. And knowing damn well you're gonna be cool with them the next day. Yeah. So, I think it's like super important to yeah. keep everything on private. Now there there is one exception that I feel like you shouldn't keep private and that's when it's when it's a bad situation like yeah like when it involves violence. yes when it's domestic violence bro mm-hmm. that that you need to speak up i don't say to keep private mm-hmm. don't fucking keep that shit private like yeah. actually talk to someone because that's actually serious yeah shit, and dude. things could that's get worse shit. a lot of that's scary a lot of people lose their life because of domestic violence boys and girls yeah both bro mm-hmm. both Ese es otro pedo. I, I, I say, eso sí, no lo, no lo estés este, haciéndolo privado or whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah, for sure. I feel like that's an exception. For sure. What's good? <laughs> Why'd you say that? I don't know. Where. It's oh, no. cute. <laughs> all right, so the next assumption says Adan hogs all the blankets. <laughs> I think I hog them, Wobby. I'm going to be honest um what do you think okay so here's the thing i'm pretty good at sharing blankets the only thing that erica does she doesn't hog the blankets but dude she gets hot when we're covered right she gets hot she starts to put down the covers and she to the point where she's kicking them away from her. <laughs> I kick them asleep. Will be how like, scary. I'm asleep. Like low key, kicker. that's one of that's that's low key annoying for me. Like I wake up and the blanket's like toda bajada de un lado, and my side, well, it's kind of down. Mm-hmm. So I gotta kind of like fix them and mm-hmm. and like I just get the cover and I cover her again, I guess. But she doesn't hog anything. She's little, dude. So so I have an advantage. <laughs> To like not not have her hog it, and me, I'm very thoughtful, so I ne- I always make sure she's covered with blankets. I'm little baby. You're you little, said she's you're small. little. You're like little. if I'm a baby. You're fucking short. You're I'm small. I'm a baby. Your your body's small. I'm a baby. No, you're not. <laughs> Yes, I am. All right, guys. So this is it for today's video. If you liked it, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Aquí abajito. Subscribe and turn on your notifications. Don't forget to turn on the notifications. Again, we say we're going to shout out people who do it. So for those yes. of you that do it, uh-huh. let us know in the comments. Oh, turn on my notification and subscribe. We're going to shout you guys out on the next video. And this is for real, y'all. This is real life. <laughs> So take care and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.